Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss another important interview question. So write a Java program to shift the zero to start up the array. So now we are having a array something like this way. So in this array, we are having a zeros as well, right? So the expectation will be all the zeros will come in the first position. Zero and how many zeros are there? One, two, three, four zeros are there, right? So the zeros will come over here in the start four indexes. Let remaining value, non-zero should come in the last of the array. This is what we have to do that. Now let us write a code for that. Before that, I'll, I'll explain you how it's going to shift. So now this is what you are adding. So in this array, we are having a how many zeros? Three zeros are there. So all the zeros will come in the start of the array. So for that, we are going to create a new array. So new array with the same length. So we have to make, you know, we'll take one by one uh, element from that array, right? So this value is not equal to zero. Then we have to move into the last index. So first it will check in that first number and it is checking whether it is a zero or not equal to zero. If it is not equal to zero, we are making a one over here, right? Finally, we'll take a second number. Here, this is also not equal to zero. So we'll shift it over here. So now if it comes into the third element, it is a zero. If it is a zero, then we are not going to add. Then we'll move on to the next iteration. We'll take a third, next value. So now it will come into the three, three also not equal to zero. So we'll move on to the next index. So this is the way we have to move from, you know, non-zero to the last, uh, you know, last of the array. So what happened? All the zero should come over here in the start of the array. So let us uh, create array because it's stored in a zero, first, second, third index, right? So now we are going to start in this new array. We'll start from that last index to we are going to add a value one by one, checking the condition and we are going to add. I'll write a code and I'll explain you again, you know, in detailed way. So now we have initialized a new array over here, which is the value of something, you know, which is the zeros as well we have added. Now what we need to do, first we need to check if the length of the array is equal to one, because if the length is more than one, only we have to write a code for shift zero to start of the array. If the length is one, then print the array as it is in the console. So for that, we just write a code for checking the condition if the array dot length, array dot length equal to equal to one. So if the array dot length equal to equal to one, then we are printing the array as it is in our console. So we'll say array. So we are printing the values. So if if in this case, right, in this case, the length of the array is two, four, six, eight, right? So this condition is not going to meet over here. So if the if so, this block of code will going to be skipped. So next, what we have to do, we declare a new array, new integer array. So in this, we have we have to declare int of array. We'll create a new array equal to, I'm just giving a variable for an understanding purpose. You can give any variable name over here. Then we can say int. Here, we are passing the same length, right? So we have to say a dot array dot, array dot length. So this is what we have to do. So now what we have done, we have created a new variable. So for tracking purpose, we need to create a one more variable that is uh, we can say count equal to. So here, what we have seen over here, we have to add, if it is a non, not equal to zero, we have to add it in the, from the last, right? Because first index, we have to be add in the zero. Zero should come in the start of the array. So we have to start from the last. So in this case, what we are going to do, we'll add a int count equal to, you know, length of the array. So length of the array, here it will be that 8, right? So it's so index-wise, it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 only. So we have to add array dot length minus 1. Because the index, it will be, you know, start from 0. So we have to add a length minus 1. So the count equal to what we have done, we have added a count equal to 7. 
So this count variable is used to keep track of the index where non-zero element will be placed in the new array. Right. So now I'm just going to take a using a for each loop. For each loop that iterate through each element in the array. So now I'm just adding a for each loop in number equal to colon. We need to add array. See now here we have all the element is there, right? All the values. It's going to pass each element, one by one element into the this variable. Now in the for each element, it check if the element is not equal to zero. So one by one element we are getting over here. So I need to check whether it is a zero or not equal to zero. So now I'm checking the condition if number, number not equal to zero. So if the condition is true, the element is not zero, it assign the value to the current index of the new array. We are going to add a new array. So new array, here we need to say count because in the last index only, I just wanted to add that if it is a non equal to not equal to zero. So I'm just adding here count, right? So equal to the number. So in this new array, why I'm passing here the index, index will be already, here we have added a 7. Why we have added a 7? Because we want to store non-zero non should come from the last. Okay, that is the reason we have added in this way. So now after checking the condition that then we have to decrement, count equal to, we have to make it as a decrement over here, right? So now we'll see, because if I added a non-zero first element, then it will be coming into the next. I mean, seventh index already we have added a one. So the next element once comes, if this is non-zero, then it should add it in the sixth index. So for that, we can say count minus minus. So then this loop effectively filter out the zeros from the array and store the new non-zero element in the same order new array, right? So finally, we have to print the element of the new array. So we can print. So I just wanted to uh, convert to string. So for that to convert a new array to a string and then print it into the console. So for that we can say arrays dot to string. Here we need to say new array. So we have to print in this way. So now we are converting to convert the array new array to a string, then only we are printing. So for that we are using arrays dot to string. We are passing a new array over here. So now let's run this. I'll show you how this is working. See now what happened? All the zeros are coming in the first part of the array. So remaining whatever it is coming into that non-zero will add it in the last. This is what our expected one. So I hope this is clear. If you are having any other question, you just add it in the comment section.